trusty work boots on. Okay, so uh, on this episode of Beard Build, we're getting back to some building. Yes, about time. All right, so my uh, trusty steed, good old Casper, and of course, how could we forget our posty bike that, yes, a whole lot's going on with that. Mm. Now, huh, yeah, that's a whole separate story in itself. But what we're going to do now is we're, um, I uh, did up some CAD drawings. I can't even remember where they are now. Might be one floating around in the shed somewhere. Oh, hang on. Yep, so close to the camera for you. Okay, so here's one of our CAD drawings that we've done. Um, measurements on there are kind of all over the place. I don't know what happened there with the old CAD program, but hey. It, uh, yeah, tried to say that I wanted to make a one-tenth scale trailer, which is kind of not where anyone needs to be. So, all the measurements aside, I already know what the deck surface measurement needs to be. Um, I've got my axle width according with that. Um, so yeah, it's just about getting the frame built. Um, the one big difference I am going to do with my trailer is, because I want to run, uh, Commodore wheels are uh, the same as the ute on there. Um, I need to be able to have a lot of uh, ground clearance still, but I don't want the trailer to be like super duper high in the air. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know if you can see that or not, I'm actually going to notch my frame and uh, mount the spring hanger further up into the trailer. So there's your spring hanger mounts in there. Um, it's not going to take away any deck surface or anything like that because it's going to be right up hard on the edge of the deck anyway. So, yeah, um, it's kind of where we're at with that, really. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll go from there. <laughs> to go and grab some more supplies looking at my um my drawing that I cut it up actually use cut not the old uh, cardboard aided design I uh, worked out what other steel I needed I've got enough steel just to make the the sort of outside perimeter frame and I was trying to work out what I was going to make the strengthening pieces out of whether it was going to be the 35 by 35 or 20 by 20 um, and uh, yeah so now just off to go and grab that and uh, go and check on something else. See whether I can uh, get that sorted as well while I'm out. And grab a drink because currently you can't see it right now. But outside temp so far is uh, 39 degrees. Good old far north Queensland. Old mate's mowing his lawn in 39 degree heat. you got to be kidding me. Yes. Alright, well, anyway. Off to my second favourite place after Bunnings, Tonkin Steel. Oh, hello. It's a bit lively. Okay, so we've got our beautiful orange slip that we got to give the guys in the shed there. So they 
and get on cut ass steel and everything like that. We'll just uh, take the pig into the shed and uh, see if we can get this steel cut and get on our way back home so that we can uh, finish getting shit done. some new uh, magnetic welding clamps so that I can uh, not need 27 hands when I weld the trailer frame together but yeah so that should be good like I said we're just about home if people would uh, do more than 10k's an hour we'd be there but hey look you know okay so what we have here is uh, one of the Calais wheels, you know, our couch, the Calais, the gift that keeps on giving. What we've got here is Commodore Hub. Now, the only problem I've got is I told them that I wanted to run the wheels on them, but I don't know about the actual hub center measurement. And this will be the first time I've stuck one in a wheel. So I'll, um, hang on a tick. Goddamn green ants. Get off me. North Queensland, greatest thing for green ants. All right, so let's tip this bad boy over. Don't worry about the face of it. It's okay, mate, just smash it around. Good job. So, as I figured, it's, um, yeah. A wee bit loose on the hub, so. I'll uh, take a hub measurement of that, and then a hub measurement of this, and then see what I can come up with. Because, yeah, the last thing you need is that just rolled around on the axle studs. Not the greatest of setups. All right, well, I kind of knew that was coming, so, yeah. I guess we'll just go and chase out some hub rings or something like that, or make a set even. And, uh, yeah, go from there. Cool. All right. Oh well, saw's all set up, stick it in on the floor and, uh, oh, another GoPro died. Um, start cutting up some of this frame and then in the back corners of the pits of the wheel there, I'll uh, start dragging the welder out and uh, start tacking this thing together. Oh, hang on everyone. Don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Even though it's a Ford, it's still a big block power car and cool as hell. Okay, so here's where we're at. So there's a the measured out side rail. Um, springs roughly in the sort of location I want it to be. So the center line there, where the center line of the axle is, will be the axle height. That there is top of the tire on the inside line with our wheel measured out with a 245.40 on it. So, what we gotta do now is we're gonna try and cut. So, this long section in the middle here is uh, not gonna be there, so it's just gonna go kind of like that and be sort of chopped off, if you know what I mean? And then follow up, over, around, same deal here. So it's not gonna be there like that. But, what we are gonna do is we're gonna put a bar on the inside of that rail and that'll be a spring hanger mount. So the spring's gonna be mounted inboard, so not directly on the outside line of the um, trailer so that we can get that extra height in there. I could always chop it so that I can make another bar come up to there and then leave that sort of much of the trailer frame in there. But if I just weld a bar straight across there, hang on, I'll roughly show you. <coughs> on the inside type thing on the inside of that frame that'll be where our springs mounted and that way that'll get our trailer close to the ground so it will be 340 from the bottom there so basically with my thong at the bottom there 
that's roughly how much trailer clearance we're going to have so that the trailer is not ridiculously, ridiculously tall so that when we load the bikes up, it's um, not going to be a fair mission to get them up. End of the day, I mean, it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference being that low. I mean, it's going to tow a lot better. It's going to be a lot lower. And especially when you look at the fact it's going to be towed behind my ute. I mean, the ute's extremely low. If I can set it up at the right height then with the trailer and then get the wheel height right and the suspension height right, it'll be perfectly flat regardless of how it's loaded. And it'll be flat on the back of the ute, so it'll be even better. You. Okay, so there's the first side rail knocked up for the trailer. Now we've just got to mirror that again, cut all the other stuff out and weld them both together properly and then... Okay, so I went ahead and did some of the boring stuff off camera because no one really wants to see about four years worth of time lapse of me running the drop saw and tucking things together. But here's roughly where we're at. So, got both the side rails to sort of tack together. One of the cross beams in, both the end rails are in. They're not tacked in or anything yet, they're just sitting there. The front one's just literally sitting there. The back one's held in straight with the magnetic squares. There goes the door slamming. And I've roughly got the axle in about the right spot now, just so that I could work out the backspace and everything like that of the wheels. Now, it is gonna be ridiculously close. Now, they say that they need about 50 mil clearance from the inside of the wheel now running ve wheels on the hubs that i've got um it's going to space that out a little bit further and then there are four and a half uh four and a quarter inch backspace so <clears throat> i think roughly with the measurements that i've got making the deck width 1550 like i wanted i'm probably going to have 40 mil clearance <coughs> Pretty sure that's more than enough. Like when you think about it, right? So 40 mil or so, you know, near on two inches. So gonna be plenty of room. I don't think you're really gonna drag the um, tires around that far sideways. But yeah, it's kind of rough where I'm at. Like I said, did most of it off camera so that it was um, not so boring. Now, the reason why I've notched the rails is so that I can get the axle height up. Um, I'm gonna make this trailer so that it levels out on the back of my ute when my ute's level um so the hitch height has to be 298 millimeters flush with the ball so that's what we're going for um that'll give me plenty of clearance underneath it and everything like that um i don't know if you've got to see it or not but up there um, is my uh ramp that i'm going to use i'm going to make a frame under this back section here to have the ramp 
slide in underneath and uh yeah that way it's going to be all tucked away uh also the other reason why i notch the rails is uh that's what i'm going to use as the the form for making the mud guards on there i mean i'm actually just going to run some bars out sheet it over um going to make it a little bit wider obviously at the back section here rear section will have two jerry cans actually no i think it's the front section that's going to have two jerry cans rear is just going to be the ramp um spare wheel carrier is going to be on the a-frame um when i put the a-frame in i'm going to notch the a-frame up into the frame as well to give me that height that i need and uh yeah it's coming along slowly but surely but yeah that's where we're at okay so yeah we're pretty much at the point now where we're good night neighbors where we're laying frame with the trailer so there it is um yeah so got the v wheels and the axle all sort of set up in there uh i've worked out clearance from the chassis rail now the axle's not exactly 100 percent perfectly centered but there's roughly about uh 42 and 38 so 40 mil roughly on the side now the frame itself's not welded together yet either so the side rails are welded together and just got the braces in there for the time being next step i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut the the actual 70 by 30 box or 6535 75 35 whatever size it is and um weld it in on the frame there what i'm going to do is i'm going to notch it down at the same angle and uh then weld it to those center braces once they're welded into the trailer and then that distance up from the frame that extra 35 mil is going to lower the trailer an extra 35 mil and that's how i'm going to get that distance up with the wheels so where the top of the frame is now how it's basically sitting on the axle that's actually going to be about an inch above the wheel at full suspension group so it's going to have plenty of clearance on the wheel so yeah now it's just got uh povo ve wheels on it at the moment oh, the series one sv6 wheels and uh yeah it's going to end up with ssvs like me you but um done all the measurements and then plus i think it was 15 mil for a set of 245 40 19s so yeah it's all done and sort of measured out and um yeah okay now the axle's not centered or anything like that that'd be about the center there so yeah it's uh coming along but coming along slowly i've you know had to make a few adjustments and stuff when you go to a, a really good trailer place they've got this really really cool thing and you just punch in all the stats that you want or all the knowns that you have i wanted a 1550 deck width um by 2100 um and I was going to run VE wheels and I gave him the backspace measurements and all that. Magically, it was like oh, probably about 25, 30 mil a side short. So I had to modify the frame and because I wasn't going to go back and replace the axle. And the next step up axle, so the axle I've got now is 1980 or 1.98 meters long. Next one was um, 2200 or I would have had to have made one. The 2200 one, too big. 1980 was kind of rolling the dice it should have fit but didn't and now we're we're at where we're at so yeah all right let's draw it on and um more choppy 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 Woo. okay so right got everything cut now so got the spring hanger mounts cut for it so they're notched at the same angle as the side rails so they'll get welded on there. And that gives me 35 mil extra clearance for spring and actual ride height of the trailer. Now the goal of this is to get it to a ton height when it's the A-frames on it at 296 mil, which is the total height of the back of my ute. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, so yeah, now it's just basically a process of um, welding it all together and yeah going from there i guess so clean it all up take it together properly pull the axle out of it now that i know i've got the axle width right and um weld her all up really 
So yeah, it's kind of where we're at.